update on my um, BT7. As you can see, she doesn't really look much different, uh, uh, but I have to been working on it and I had to wait for uh, a certain engine to come, which is a T34 engine uh, version uh, and transmission set, which I'm, I've, I've basically used parts of it to actually, because they look very similar to the BT engine that was in there, apart from the cylinder heads were actually round, so therefore, because it was based on, a, as I said, I think I said in the last video, a BMW uh, aircraft engine from Germany, and they actually modified built under license and, and modified it accordingly to their own, dis own, own reasons. Anyway, but basically I've done the same, but I've obviously not having a really good, I had a photograph of it and it did look not similar for the bottom, so I actually did it. So anyway, without further ado, I'm going to take the top off, you'll see what I mean. Here we go, I'll take that over there. And, and that's what we've got. We've got uh, basically the engine in place, uh, not glued, it's, uh, that lifts in and out because I'm still working on that for cylinders. We've got round cylinder heads as well, uh, up there, and you can see all the controls at the front I put in. Uh, that's two foot pedals, two hand levers for either side, and also I've put the, this, the actual controlling rods that go back into the engine compartment. I've actually run the wires into the engine compartment as well, not all the way, just enough to, so you can see they go into there. They, if I'd known earlier, I would have actually drilled holes for them to go in, but uh, there you go. So it's only a representation of it because, I mean... It is just to make it look lively inside. I've still got all the PE to do now, uh, which to, uh, which will follow this with the instrument panel on the side, all the ammunition racks inside the actual fighting compartment, and the turret because the turret is actually here. But the roof roof lifts off, as I said before. And I've done some filling as you oops, done some filling as you can see, which will be cleaned up later. So and and there'll be a radio set that goes in there as well. So and that's in part of the PE set as well. So it's it's, it's going to look quite nice which is good. So if I take the engine out, you'll most probably see what I've met, and I'll show you the engine a bit, what I've modified. A lot of it's cleaned up. So oops, here we go, if I use it, do it like that. There we go. So that's the engine I've actually worked on. And the cylinder heads are made out of plastic um, solid chip rod. Um, I've got found, I've got two or three different versions, which I was using for the compass. So I actually used the one that suited those needs, and I've gone basically equal. I used a little bit of side Bit on the side uh, of part of the engine just to give it a little bit more of an engine look using similar to what I saw with some of the tank engines as well so just basically going around and used a bit on the front and basically I think you can see a bit more in there there's the frame that I've used the radiators as you can see have been chopped and that's to allow them to fit over the bit that the axle uh, goes in for one of the road wheels which is over here so just done that that's all going to be painted white inside and then and, and I'm going to use some oils and that to dirty it up but yeah, so the seat's still not glued in place because I need to spray in so I don't want to get underneath the seat as well. And so there you go. So I'll just put that engine back in place. Whoops, right way around, mate. Add. Just drops into place. There you go. And pulls it back into place there. And what I've got to do now is, is a bit of pipe along goes along here and there's a rod comes off at an angle and there is a little lever, like a hand handle, Bit like a shut off of a shovel but not quite the same it's actually got a loop into it and you can put it up and i believe that was to do with converting it to the road uh, once they got the tracks off and used it for a road vehicle so the steering wheel which would be based sitting over here uh, in a bracket actually would be slotted into the one i've actually done inside so i think you can see if i go a bit closer you get it's a bit blurry as you go I won't go any nearer, but um, inside there you can see that rod. That's a brass tube put in there. That's where the steering uh, would have wheel would have slotted into place. It's folded flat, and then it slots into that into that position. So I've got the details quite near to what it would have looked like, um, but they're like anything else. I said it, it just it's going to look the part inside when they see there. I'll have a no one sitting in the seat. There'd be a cloth in there or something anyway. And ammunition racks down the side here. Uh, machine gun drums on the side with a photo etch set. But the engine's got a bit more work to be done on it. But you won't see much from the turret, but you will see if you look through the hatch, because both these hatches will got to be open on the on the, the vehicle, because it's a stationary with the crew members. So all the turret hatches will be open, and you'll be able to see down and see the engine block and the ammunition racks inside. So there you go. I was going to do a side view, but it's a bit pointless. You saw that last time. So hopefully, um, you can see where I've got to. If I just come around slightly like this, you'll... you'll Get a bit of view. If I push this back, there you go. I think that's as far as I can go with this update because it's not. It isn't a lot, but it is a lot if you know what I mean. The uh, there are non-slip floors in there, but I forgot to mention that. 
uh, what I would say to you is anyone's doing that and I might have mentioned it last time to fit that you need to actually use the base floor to get the pattern for it and luckily for me I had uh, where's the other one the oh it's at the bottom of the pole I've got a BT7 oh here it is yeah I can show you what I mean I've got the the BT7 and so that one so I've got that one to do so I actually use the floor from that kit to actually give me the right pan for doing it and then and then I just trimmed it until it fitted so there you go so that's as far as I've got on this vehicle and um, the gun is actually done I don't know if I mentioned that no, I don't think I did the gun is actually done it's got the brass barrel in it and basically all it is is that fits lovely on the front but I've got, I've got all the internal details to do for, uh, on the gun this bit here so therefore and there's the machine guns there as well all done as well so it's, it's coming together and I'm quite pleased with it and as I said once it's, it's painted inside now that it should look the part it looks funny with all the white plastic and bits and pieces but their cylinders will be black the engine will be done the engine colour and the, the radiators will be done in a silver colour um, as much as it can uh, as much as I can and and that be it um, so anyway so I'm not going to keep waffling but uh, there you go if I just turn that like that you can see where I've got to so thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you on the next update see you later happy modeling